Okay, what's up guys, welcome back to another Grand Cross video and today we're going to be tackling the actual new Final Boss Merlin event who just came out, what, yesterday on a Tuesday and I did see when I logged in quite early in the morning who was top 10 and I saw a team that, well, if it was legit, it would work and what, that's pretty much what we're using and uh, yeah, it's here. Uh, I've tried it, haven't beat it yet, so I do believe it's definitely beatable, definitely harder than I thought it would be since uh, we are making it a bit more difficult on ourselves because we aren't using red Escanor, but instead we are using green Escanor. So the main reason why is Escanor is so good as, as a unit. Uh, type advantage doesn't really matter. He, she is green, so green on green isn't too big of a deal. But the, yeah, you can see right here, full UR gear, which to be fair, you only really need to have UR gear on attack because that's where you get most of your stack from. Uh... I don't think I've had problems. I mean, I kind of got crappy rolls here, if you see. But I don't think I'll have a problem with him staying alive. I think the main problem when I was trying it before was Hellbrim and stuff dying first, since Merlin seemed to attack them, which is, I guess, is a good thing. But um, the main reason why, yeah, so main reason why we're using him is because uh, he's pretty much my best character, and also one of the best characters in the game for like single target damage. He's definitely one of the best. And yeah, I think everyone's gonna be using Escanor, depending on which color you have. If you if you don't want to use Escanor, uh. I mean, I'm not going to invest into Arthur. You could probably use Arthur or, like, Uagi Hauser if you really want to do that. So, yeah, my investment for my account definitely going to have to be uh, Escanor. And also, if we're going to talk about it, his ultimate is 3-6, uh, so halfway. Should be 6-6, six, six, to be honest with you, for the amount of damage I did spend on the actual Dian banner. And his ultimate, or his unique passive, is pretty good as well because... When he's got four ultimate gauges, he can't be frozen, which the final boss, or for, yeah, final boss Merlin does do in a second stage. So it's actually pretty good if he does hit him. Uh, next one is Fairy Helbrum. Another good one since he does um, remove ultimate gauges. This here, by the way, uh, very important to get since it's free. But um, his base stats are just increased 5% per each surviving ally. So once again, good for every color and every character pretty much. There's no limit on it. Uh, one thing too, so yeah, his skills are very important, so he depletes ultimate gauges, which is part of the skill, you need to remove 5, so if you don't get them, if you don't manage to get the goal for ultimate off, he's actually very usable. Second, Petrify 2, you can't Petrify Merlin, but you can Petrify the ones on the left and right, so that's really good. Cancer buffs and stances, once again really good too, because uh, I believe one of them puts a shield up, and Merlin also puts a shield up every 3 turns, so yeah, just overall a really good ult to go with. And um, go for here. Uh, I mean, everyone kind of knows Go for him. I'll talk about it quickly. Uh, equipment wise, just standard stuff. Uh, UR gear is very, very easy to get for uh, Go for. You can see I haven't spent any money for him, but we've gotten pretty good stats for him since most stuff are free and he's got quite a lot of. There's quite a lot of Go for you can get. Uh, his skills, I guess you can disable attacks, nothing too crazy. You're probably going to hit patience, but this one's pretty good for Escanor since you are going to allow him to get his ultimate pretty fast. And I guess his, his passive is uh, or unique is pretty decent if you don't take damage, but you probably will. Uh, this once again, if you do manage to get the ultimate off, you will complete the challenge. But if you don't, uh, that's why Helbrim is there, so you're able to actually uh, get off before he's an ult. So, lastly, Hauser. Not going to use him, of course, because we are going to keep everyone alive. But he does increase humans' allies' basic stats by 8%. So we need that because he increases, what, attack as well, which is what we need for Escanor. And it won't affect Helbrum, but I think out of everyone we could use, I think it's probably one of the better ones we could use since we are buffing up two people rather than one. Because they're both different colors and different breeds, like he uh, fairy and stuff. Um, obviously, if you do have red Helbrum, oh, sorry, red uh, Gulf, uh, geez, red Escanor, you will probably use Twigo instead since you're going to have more HP. But uh, since we are using the green, we can't actually use it because Escanor won't get a buff. And I think Escanor needs to buff out everything because he needs to kill fast as possible. Alright, I think that wraps it up. So that's the team. That's the exclamation. Uh, we are obviously using good, not the best ones. Uh, basically, I'm just trying to have the attack as possible, right? If you can see here. Uh, I could use a bunch of these guys, but they just don't give enough attack. Uh, compared to my Jericho, right? Who gives like an extra 500. And the reason why, I don't know. I guess because he's probably got some good gear on her. But we got to make sure we don't hit patience. Okay, um, so here we go. We're going to try it. Uh, I don't know how many times I'm going to do this. Because it's I haven't beaten it yet. So we'll see how long it takes. But uh, So firstly, we are bringing attack food. And you can see right there, title effect plus 2%. I'm not sure what it is. But I do have a title effect where I get uh, basically an extra 2%. Which is going to help quite a lot. Because I know Merlin, when I have tried it. The first time Merlin has survived quite a bit. Like just a little bit of HP. 
And since I've hit quite a lot of patience with, I've definitely hit patience with Gofar, uh, Gofar but I'm hitting quite a lot of patience with Helbrim, which you don't really want to do. So we'll see um, if it makes a big difference, especially now that I've got like the best gear I have on now. Okay, here she is. So one annoying thing is she does lower ultimate gauge with pretty much every attack. So we kind of got we kind of got to get lucky. Okay, not the best. A good start though, not the best. Uh, ideally, you kind of want to get another Escanor card, but we'll take it. So we're gonna boost up Escanor. So that's gonna be a. Um... Would it bust up? No wait, hang on. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I just searched up. All right, so we're gonna boost up Escanor. So we are gonna get the free. Uh, what, two ultimate gauges from that, and then um, use uh, Ignite first so we get more damage in return. And we need to pump out as much damage as we can. And we're also going to get the upgrade too, so that'll be nice. So Ignite for three turns. Yeah, 3k damage, not a lot. And then, uh, yeah, so it gives us two ultimate gauges, boom, 55k, and we now have an ultimate. So we just got to kind of get lucky that he doesn't take the ultimate away here. Okay, defends, lowers his attack release, that's good. Wouldn't affect Escalon anyway, because um, he does have to purify. Oh, he's, he's immune to stuff. Yeah, maybe because my Escalon is the highest stats out of everyone here. She don't attack him. Yeah, I think definitely Escalon probably has the best... Well, he, I know he does have the better stats out of everyone, so I think that's why she's not attacking him. Okay, so we got lucky with the Skrull Suns. So we're going to get double the 10% damage, or 20% now. Okay, does it kill though? Oh, it killed. Let's go. All right, so there we go. Mission accomplished. We got the first challenge done. Okay, this is actually a pretty good run. Killed it in two turns. So now all we have to do is remove ultimate gauges and also kill. Uh, have no one die. Merlin looking nice. Okay, ooh. Oh, okay. You know, that's just not bad. Uh, close to get her ult. So, one thing we have to do now is um, the person on the right does lower ultimate gauges. So, we are going to freeze her. So, we can use ultimate next turn. And one thing we want to do as well is also kill the left and right people. Because when you do kill them, you lower their defense. Or you lower uh, the final boss Merlin's defense down by 40%, I think. Yeah, okay. So, she's frozen. Nice, we didn't have patience to. I, the thing, the testing I've done right. Okay, good Eskimo cards. The testing I've done, I think um, the second stage is a lot easier than the last, the first one. Okay, recovery stable, but it doesn't really matter. We're not healing anyway. Okay, good freeze on him. We don't, we're not even using him. All right. So, I mean, we should kill here. And my my, my Hellbrim is only 3-6, so he's not the highest. But just in case... Um, we, we are going to use this, so we're going to move our ultimate gauges. That will get us the challenge, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, just in case she doesn't die, Escanor should kill her. I'm pretty sure. Okay, no, she didn't die. Okay, nice. All right. Uh, well, not nice. I kind of wish she did die. See, if you had a Hellbrim at 6-6, six, six, it'd be so sick. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, so you see how uh, HP decreased. That's important. You pretty much want to AoE both people. Okay, just don't kill. Nice. Okay, so yeah, since we moved the ultimate gauges, she used one less card. Okay, so we got to kill her. Uh, we are going to get Eskinos. Oh, we should actually, this is probably a really good run, actually. Uh, we removed her ultimate gauge anyway, but it doesn't really matter. Yep. Boom. Okay, she's dead. So, mad HP decrease. Okay, and we got the challenge too. Okay, bro. We got two things here, you know. Okay, so she's got a 40% HP decrease. I think we can kill her, you know. We got two ignites as well. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Three is huge. So, since he is immune to it, because he can't be debuffed. Okay, so we we'll use this. Use that and an Escanor. Let's see if this does kill. Oh, look how much damage I did. Okay, yeah, definitely killing. 
Oh my god, we could have killed it three cards. Oh, 230k, Jesus. Bro, that's pretty much that's literally my first run there for completing it. And that's a pretty good one as well. Okay, how much points did we get? Definitely could do a lot better though. Okay, 2.8. Alright, uh. Yeah, we just cleared it really fast. Honestly, yeah, you could do a lot better. I think if you uh killed Um like help him actually kill or like go for. Okay, where are we like top top 15? Hopefully I'm top of top 15. To be fair, I'm not really chasing it, but we're only trying to get top 50 to be fair. Two <laughs> percent! <laughs> How are we top two percent? What the hell? Wow, alright, so we're, we're guaranteed that spot then. <laughs> okay, um, there we go. Ranking, wow. I mean, I'm not aiming for top 15 because uh, they changed the to where you don't actually need to, uh, you don't actually need to get a high rank no more. You only need to get top 50. But I mean, if we get top 15, we'll take the anvils and, and uh, hammers. We'll take those. Okay, um, yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video. Didn't think I was going to get that high score, but we did. So, um, if you need help, leave comments below. Uh, I know most people, most people don't have Escanor, especially the green one. But, um, I mean, if you want to score a high score or even beat Hell, um, you pretty much got to bring at least one Escanor. But you, it's possible probably to beat um, with maybe Arthur or something. I, I just haven't invested into him. I'm not going to invest in him because uh, it's just a bit too much. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and peace.